Hi everyone. In this video, I'm gonna go over a basic manual cataract surgery, unedited. It's meant for people who are just learning about cataract surgery or beginning cataract surgeons. So this patient is numbed just with eye drops. They are awake. I'm putting some extra numbing solution into the eye to make sure that they have zero pain. The patient also has some sedation to take away some anxiety. This gel will fill the eye to maintain the structure and shape of the eye and also protect the cornea during the procedure. After that, I'm gonna stabilize the eye with the instrument on the left and use a 2.4 millimeter blade to create a three plane incision. So I create a groove and then I go into the groove and then tilt down and enter into the eye. I'll use a forcep and this forcep is a micro forcep, very small, and it has a sharp tip. So I pierce the cataract capsule and then just grab it and do my capsular rexus, which is the round opening into the, into the front surface of the lens. Then I'm gonna use a cannula with some uh, balanced salt solution and separate the cataract material from the capsule. It's like separating a grape from its peel. There are a lot of cannulas available, but I'm testing out a new one. And I'm using this cannula for the first time, so I'm just being a little bit careful with it. And then I'm gonna see if I can rotate the lens. And I just wanna make sure that I can spin it. Here we have a spin. So now that the cataract is loosened from its casing, the cataract diameter is large and won't fit through the incision, so we wanna break it up into multiple pieces. We use ultrasound energy to accomplish that. I stabilize the eye with the left hand, and then I use the ultrasound energy to create a groove or a trench in the middle of the cataract. And then I'm gonna separate the cataract into two pieces. Now there's a separation, and I'm gonna rotate the lens 90 degrees and separate into more and more pieces. We typically divide it into four pieces. And so after I have the lens into four pieces, I'm gonna vacuum up each quadrant. And so I'm gonna use the metal instrument in my left hand to protect the cornea. Notice how I have the left hand instrument in front of the cataract so it doesn't bump into the cornea and cause damage to the cornea. Now that I created more space, I can emulsify the last two pieces in a slightly deeper plane away from the cornea. I think it's a good habit to protect the cornea with your second instrument when removing the first two pieces. The final piece is gonna come out now and I'm gonna protect the posterior capsule so I'm putting my uh, instrument from my left hand behind the FACO instrument. Now that the bulk of the cataract is removed, there's an outer casing of the cataract called the cortex. It's like the outermost layer of an onion. We use the irrigation aspiration handpiece to vacuum it out. I typically like to remove the sub-incisional cortex first. So I'm just doing that right here. And it comes out pretty easily. Now that it's all gone, I'll just do a little bit of uh, polishing. So I switch to polish mode and I'm polishing the anterior capsule and the posterior capsule as well, getting it ready for the lens implant. I tend to also flush the capsule with some balanced salt solution after I polish with the IA handpiece. However, this is not a recent video because my technique has changed recently where I make sure to dump an entire syringe, a 3cc syringe of BSS onto the posterior capsule and my PCO rate has decreased significantly. And then I'm gonna expand the capsular bag with more gel. It's a cohesive gel, expanding that. And now we're gonna grab the lens implant, stabilize the eye with the left hand, and insert the lens implant into the capsular bag. Next, I will rotate the lens into the bag. This is an iHans lens. It's a basic monofocal and it's unfolding into the capsular bag. One of the haptics doesn't want to unfold, which is common with this lens platform. Sometimes you need to encourage it to unfold, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. 
and there. And the second haptic is now unfolding. I'm removing the gel. The gel has to be removed uh, before the end of the case. So I'm just removing the gel and making sure that I'm not missing any little crumbs or pieces from the cataract. After the gel is removed, I'll rotate the lens into a position where I think it centers best. There we are. And then we're going to hydrate the incision on the right side on the left and also the roof to create a watertight seal without any stitches. After that, I'm gonna inject some antibiotic into the eye, just a little bit, and then I'm gonna check the eye pressure of the eye. If it's a little tight, I will release some fluid from one of the incisions, and I'm making sure it's watertight and there's no leaking. And that's perfect. And so that's a simple manual cataract surgery. I appreciate your attention. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.